before we proceed to the next exercise, let us see some term. First, median of a triangle. We may have a triangle. Then, from any vertices, we draw in such a way that from one vertex to the opposite side. But we will not join at any point. We join mainly at the point, at the midpoint. Midpoint mean this part will be equal to this part. If suppose this length is 6, it will be 3, 3 each side. If the length is 4 cm, it will be 2 cm each side. So that line drawn from one vertex to the opposite side and bisect that side, that mean or join the midpoint of the opposite side, that line we call it as median of a triangle. Uh, we have three vertices. It means that we can draw three median. So this point where the three median intersect each other inside a triangle, it is known as centroid of triangle. Then we also have to remember that uh, you can see clearly this part is larger, this part is smaller. So they always cut one another at a ratio 2 is to 1. So if you apply this ratio in section formula, then we will get the coordinate for the centroid. It will be equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. If you want to know how we get it, we use the section formula. Okay? In place of x1, we use x1. But in place of x2, we use x2 plus x2 by 2. So it's, we get it from there only, from the section formula. Then we get this one, the coordinate for centroid, x1, x2 plus x3 by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3, where x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, they are the vertices of a triangle. So using this formula, let us see the next exercise. 7c question 1 is a direct question. We have to find the coordinate of the centroid. Here they will be given x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. So you can try it yourself, okay? That means for x, you have to plus 8, plus 0, plus 8, 16 by 2, equal to 8, uh, 0, plus 6, plus, oh, sorry, divide by 3, sorry. Uh, 16 by 3, we cannot divide, so that will be answer. Then for y, 0 plus 6 plus 12 it will be 18 divided by 2 equal to uh, sorry by 3 equal to 6 so the required coordinate for number 1 it will be 16 by 3 comma 6 so same way you can try 2 and 3 we will proceed to number 2 what to do here here we have a triangle ABC the vertex of B coordinate of B already given minus 3 comma 1 then the coordinate of C already given 0 comma minus 2 coordinate of A is missing so we have to find that but another fact they give us the centroid is at origin so when we say the centroid is at origin it means that the value of x is 0 value of y is 0 so now we have to find the coordinate of the third vertex that mean that of a so let's take it to be x1 y1 okay so since we have the centroid we can apply centroid formula so we can take <coughs> x1 to be minus 1 comma 1 x2 to be 0 y2 minus 2 then let's the coordinate of a b x comma y that mean x3 you can put it x y3 you can put y so and remember don't forget they say the centroid is at origin so coordinate of origin is of oh, sorry centroid is 0 comma 0 they use centroid we can apply centroid formula so that mean the x part of centroid formula will be equal to 0 because centroid is at origin then the y part also equal to 0 because all dimension no centroid as origin mean both x and y equal to 0 so 3 into 0 will become 0 then x1 replace x2 replace we want x so minus 3 plus 0 will be minus 3 plus we take that side become no sorry minus we take that side become plus then here also 3 into 0 0 y1 is 1 
y2 is minus 2, 1 minus 1 plus we minus, 2 is greater, we have minus 1, this is minus, take the side become plus. So the coordinate of the a, of point A is 3 comma 1. Then number 3 also similar, uh, two vertices already given, 3 comma minus 5 minus 7 comma 4. Then the coordinate of centroid, they already give us 2 comma minus 1. Then we have to find the third vertex. So we can take this one as x1, y1. Okay. We can take this one as x1, y1, x2, y2. Then the third vertex we don't know. Let us put it the vertex be x3, y3. Coordinate of centroid, we have 2 minus 1. That means x part is 2, y part will be equal to minus 1. They mentioned the word centroid. We can use centroid formula. So centroid formula, we know x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 equal, okay, by 3. Well, x part, y part, y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. Uh, this minus 1, this 2, they come from the coordinate of centroid because 2 minus 1. So now x1 we know, x2 we know we replace, x3 we have to find. So this 3 we can cross multiply, it will become 6. 1 minus 1 plus minus. So this is minus, if you take that side become plus. So x3 equal 10. Let's see with y part, y1 minus 5, y2 4, y3 we still have to find. This one we can cross multiply, 3 into minus 1 minus 3. Minus 5 plus 4 will be minus 1. We want only y3. Minus, we take that side, become plus. So 3 minus 3 plus 1 will be minus 2. So the coordinate of the third vertex is 10, comma, minus 2. <coughs> then, again, number 4 also, similar. We have coordinate of A is 3, comma, 2. Coordinate of B is minus 2, comma, 1. We have the two vertices. Then the third vertex is missing. So that we have to find. But they also give us the coordinate of the centroid is 5 by 3 and minus 1 by 3. So this one is x1, x y1, x2, y2. Then this is x and y. So the x part of centroid equal to this one. Y part equal to this one. x2 and x3 we still have to find. So since they mentioned centroid, we can apply centroid 1 through x part. We make it equal to 5 by 3. Y part make it equal to minus 1 by 3. In the denominator, both sides, we have 3, 3. We can cancel. X1 we know. X2 we know. X3 we still have to find. 3 minus 1, uh, 2 will be 1. This is plus. Take that side, become minus. So X3 equal 4. Then here... Y1 we know 2, Y2 we know 1, so 3, this is plus, take that side become minus. Both are minus, we can plus, but the sign remain minus. So the coordinate of the third vertex is 4, comma, minus 4. Then, next <coughs> topic, we need to find the area of triangle. So for triangle, we can do like this. We put the vertices, then we can do... If we take x1, we forget y1. We take y2 minus y3 because the formula for triangle is half base into height. Okay, half base into height. So that means uh, height, we can take it as x1. Then the base, we have to do y2 minus y3. Then if you take that of x2, okay, then forget y2, it come y3 minus y1. Then if you take x3, Forget y3, it will be y1, y2. Okay, here we have half because this one will come from that one. We have area half base into height. Then for quadrilateral, we can divide the quadrilateral into two parts so that we get two triangles. So finding the area of both triangles, we will get the area of quadrilateral. Then when they say that the points are collinear, collinear means straight line. So in that case, if we find the area of triangle, it will be zero. So using those idea as to say, those formula, we can solve the next exercise.